Friendship is a concept that doesn't care about gender, species, or status. It doesn't depend on the circumstances. It is unconditional. Friendship either is or it isn't. It can't be bought for any amount of money. It can only be earned by loyalty, patience, and love. It is a special gift of fate that needs to be treated tenderly and with special care. This story took place in a village in Russia. The Levitsky family has always had many animals. At the time of this story, the farms had two cows, a bull, eight pigs, and rabbits. But then they got an additional member. One of the cows gave birth. The calf was very cute. He had huge eyes of the color of melted chocolate, and he looked at the new world with curiosity and interest. The calf rested next to its mother while the owner of the farm, Irina, was cleaning the barn. Her eight-year-old daughter, Nastia, was next to her mother and looked at the little calf with delight. She admired him so much that her mother couldn't stand it and asked her daughter not to get too attached because the family was planning on selling him when he got a bit older. Soon, the family dog, Shadi, came running into the barn. They found Shadik on the street near their home. He was just a tiny puppy. Nastia begged her parents to take him in. And he would have died from the cold if he'd stayed out on the street. He grew into a large dog, infinitely loyal to his family. The cheerful and curious Shadik immediately got interested in the new addition of the farm. Seeing the calf, he began to sniff the newcomer, trying to get to know him a bit better. Nastia didn't pay attention to her mother's warning and kept petting the calf's head. She even came up with a name for him, Bantik. A few days later, the little calf already tried going outside to spend time on the green grass. His first steps were very careful and uncertain, but the further he went, the more confident he got. His legs were getting stronger, and he was happy to run around the yard playing with Nastia and Shadik. The trio spent all their days together. As soon as the girl sat down, the calf would instantly appear next to her, settling down and putting his head on her lap. Then, Shadik would come running and sit down with them. Then, they could just sit there, eating the mother's delicious rolls, apples, and other treats. When the parents decided on the specific date to sell the calf, Nastia was very upset. She cried and begged her mother to change her mind and back out of the deal, but the woman was adamant. When the day of the sale came, Nastia wasn't herself. The mere thought that Bantik would be taken away and she would never see him again brought the girl to tears. Shadi couldn't understand what was going on, so he just followed the girl. When the buyers came, Nastia looked at them, hoping that maybe they wouldn't like Bantik. But they did like the calf, and even made a comment about him being a good product. Hearing this, Nastia burst into tears. Bantik was her friend, and not just some product for sale, an investment opportunity. The dog joined Nastia and began to howl, his head raised high. Everyone was very confused. They didn't know what to do. The girl was crying, the dog was howling, and the calf was looking at them with eyes full of sadness, as if it was about to start crying too. The buyers talked it over and told the Levitskys that they would never be able to forgive themselves if they took the calf away. Because the eyes of the three friends would follow them everywhere. The mother felt very uncomfortable in this situation. She kept apologizing and asking the buyers to understand that it wasn't intentional, but the buyers turned out to be decent and kind people, so they simply said goodbye and left. Bantig stayed on the farm. They all had fun together all day, while the girl's parents simply looked at them and smiled. They almost made the mistake and deprived their daughter of this wonderful feeling of true friendship and almost broke her faith in people. Since Bantik spent so much time with Nastia and Shadik, it couldn't but affect his behavior. 
the ungulate animal began to behave differently from his relatives. He turned into more of a dog. His favorite pastime was ball games and long walks in the fields. He even treated the girl like a dog would, and he was incredibly loyal. On one of their walks, Nastya went a bit further into the forest than she usually does, so she and her pets made their way to a river. It was wonderful there. A cool breeze swayed the thick grass. Sharik was busy catching nimble grasshoppers and chasing butterflies. Bantik lay down in the grass and dozed off. And the girl was weaving a wreath of daisies and cornflowers and watched the clouds run quickly across the sky. The perfect day was interrupted by the sounds of an approaching group of boys. They were messing around and making jokes along the way. Seeing the defenseless girl, they were delighted. They saw her as an object for their entertainment. They took her straw hat and began to throw it over to each other, forcing the girl to run between them. It was fun for the boys, but Nastya could hardly hold back her tears because her mother gave her that hat and she really liked it. This didn't stop the boys and they began to invent offensive nicknames for the girl. But they couldn't have known that the faithful dog was already rushing to the girl's aid and that Bantig had woken up and was getting up from the thick grass, tilting his head angrily. The calf had already grown rather big and he began to push the offenders with his strong head. It was a very unpleasant experience for the boys. Shadi grabbed the offenders' pants. The boys didn't expect the girl to have so many defenders and rushed to flee the scene. The dog saw them off with loud barking. Upon returning home, Nastya told her parents what had happened. They got very worried, but at the same time, they were glad that their daughter had such loyal and devoted friends. Nastya shared this story online when she was already an adult. And our next story is no less amazing. Little James the calf was born on the Happy Hens and Highlands farm and suffered brain damage at birth which caused him to lose some of his reflexes. For example, he couldn't figure out how to suckle on his mother's udder. Farmers Adam and Emily Hobson decided not to give up and tried to take care of the baby. They took him inside the house and bottle fed him. The calf lived in the same room with the couple for several weeks. When the calf got stronger, they wanted to send him back to the herd, but the Scottish Highland cows didn't accept him. Therefore, he lived mainly in the yard, where he made friends with the dogs. Moreover, he spent so much time with them, James also started acting like a big, hairy puppy. Since James's instincts were off and he needed to be taught everything, the dogs involuntarily took it upon themselves to teach him. And so, James learned how to wag his tail, tried to chew on everything he came across, licked his owner's faces, and jumped around merrily, inviting them to play. The only problem was, James wasn't a dog, he was a bull, and not even a small one at that. So a few months later, he got too big for his dog friends, but it was impossible to return him to the herd. He was behaving way too different for the cows to accept him as one of them. The Hobsons had a choice to make. They could leave the calf in the backyard, where the affectionate but large animal would get in everyone's way, send it to the slaughterhouse, or come up with something else. So they bought two orphan calves about his age. The perfect company. Three outcasts who never really learned how to live in a herd. They quickly became friends and stuck together. They were sent to the pasture, where the three friends continued to stay away from the rest, but other calves started showing interest in them. At the same time, the farmers opened several social media accounts in James's name, which quickly became popular. I mean, who doesn't like a cute calf? And how good does he look in a suit? Well, that's a topic for another discussion. Seeing James on Instagram, people often ask if they could buy their pet, but Adam and Emily rejected all the offers they got because James was part of the family. And that's all for today, friends. Share your thoughts about today's episode in the comments below. Like the video, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.